Puzoksa Temple was built by the great master Uisang during the unified Silla dynasty at the foot of Mount Tingponghang. After that, during the reign of King Gongmin of the Goryeo dynasty, Wonung rebuilt Buryangsudan and Josadang. After passing the ticket office and going up a little along the gentle road, there is Ilju Moon Gate with a signboard saying Tebek San Puseoksa. Behind it, there is a signboard that reads Hedong Haom Dongtae. The space of Puseoksa Temple can be divided into the lower part, the middle part, and the upper part by the stone staircase. According to the performance and conduct of sentient beings, the Buddha is divided into three categories, lower, middle, and upper, and each class was further divided into three categories. The reason why the three tiers are slightly twisted instead of flying on a straight axis is because the original sloped and curved terrain was preserved. Shortly after passing the gate, there is Tangan Jiju on the left. If you keep going up through the Kinko trees, you will see the Tonwang Moon Gate, guarded by the four heavenly kings. Passing through this gate, you will see a huge stone pillar, the tallest and longest in this temple. Large stones of different shapes were piled up and small stones were carefully inserted between them. It is amazing how the stones are stacked so that they are naturally interlocked without destroying the individuality of each stone. If you follow the stone path, the Pongjong God will appear in front of you. This is a two-story building with a sign saying Pongwangsan Puseoksa. It is a unique building with an octagonal roof when viewed from the front and a gable roof when viewed from the back. It reminds me of a large bird about to take flight with its wings wide open. The entrance is done under the building. It is a structure that shows humility by lowering the body. The wooden pillars of different thickness and shape are strangely harmonious. Passing this Pomdong and looking at the front, the second stone axis appears. Above the stone pillar is Anyang Lu which was built in 1576, about 200 years after Buryang Sudan. Anyang is another name for paradise. The building was built on a steep slope, so if you look out from the Pomjong Gak side, it looks like a two-story building. But if you look at it from the yard of Buryang Sudan, it looks like a single story. The signboard Puzok Sa was written by former president Sung Man Lee. The pieces of wood supporting the roof are in harmony with each other very beautifully. If you pass under Anyang Lu, you will see a stone lantern and Buryang Suta.
The stone lantern made during the unified Silla period show excellent balance. Buryang Sudan, a national treasure presumed to be a mid Korea building, was the oldest wooden building in Korea until Bungdongsa Gungnakjeon was confirmed as the oldest building in Korea. The signboard is said to have been written by King Gongmin of Korea. Architects say that Buryang Sudan is the most beautiful among the wooden buildings that our people have preserved. Overall, the body is heavy and harmonious, and the roof is open like the wings of an oriental phoenix. The name Buryang Sudan is because the main Buddha of this temple is Amitabha Buddha. Amitabha Buddha is a Buddha who shows mercy to people while staying in the Western Paradise, because it has infinite wisdom, infinite virtue, and infinite lifespan. It is also called Buryang Subur. Amitabha Buddha always faces east, so the city Sojo Amitabha Buddha is now located in the center of Buryang Sutam, which faces south but is located at the left end and faces the east. Buryang Sutan is also beautiful, but the beauty of looking down from the front of the Buryang Sutan yard washes away the fatigue of visitors at once. The view of large and small mountains stacking up and moving away creates a magnificent spectacle. To the left of Buryang Sutan Hall, there's a legendary rock called Pusok. When Master Eisang was trying to build a temple here, there was already a 500 heretic group. So Sun Myo, who loved him, turned into a rock and floated in the air and defeated them. Therefore, the name of the temple is said to have been derived from the words Pu, meaning to float, and Sok, meaning stone. To commemorate this, a small Sun Myo Gak was built under the stone. There is a three-story stone pagoda on the hill to the right of Buryang Sutan. If you follow the white stone steps next to it, you will come to a fork in the road. If you follow the old road to the right from here, you will come to Chosada, which enshrined the great master Eisang. Tosadang is a small building with three spaces in the front and one space on the side, and was built 150 years after Buryang Sutan. There is a tree called Sanbi Hua under the eaves of Tosadang. It is said that eating this leaf can give birth to a son. So many people picked the leaves. So the tree was protected by iron bars and glass. Six murals were painted on the walls of Tosada, and they are now stored in the Relics Exhibition Hall. Those are known as the oldest surviving temple murals in Korea. Each building of Pusoksa Temple retains its individuality and harmonizes with each other. We can call Pusoksa Temple the most beautiful temple in Korea.